not wanted anywhere. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope this video finds you well, as always. So, folks, I'm finally feeling better, and I'm back. I had a terrible sinus infection that I absolutely could not shake, but I'm finally on the mend and happy to be back with you. Not much going on today in the past couple days anyway, but there are a few things I want to go over. First being, there seems to be, a, I'm seeing more and more pictures of Prick Harry in glasses. There seems to be some sort of push from wherever, the Sussex squad, and Harry and Meghan themselves, I'm sure, to make Harry look, you know, more smart, or like he's smart and an intellectual. And let me tell you, folks, you're not fooling anyone. It's completely absurd. Let's get started. But first, first up from British Royal, I died when I saw this. Beware of Bigfoot, because we all know who Bigfoot is. Absolutely hysterical. This one knocked it out of the park. And now I saw this picture on Facebook of Megan and I thought to myself, I need to see what everybody will say about this. So I did a caption this on my community page. And if you want to see the responses on there, you can go and see the one that stuck out with me the most and made me laugh the hardest is from Armani Savoy Flores. And she writes, no more wire hangers. And it was absolutely perfect. They all were absolutely hilarious. But, you know, you know, this one's going to be exactly like Mommy Dearest. I think that goes without mention. <laughs> So apparently, Megan's most iconic look, Kermit Goes to Church, has been ma named Megan's most iconic look. If this is her most iconic look, then the rest of her looks are absolute garbage, which a lot of them are. But for this to be the best, think of what the worst is. This is not good. And now, from the Hindustan Times, not British, Megan wants children to be American through and through. Is that a fact? This is the same woman who wants her children to be prince, prince and princess and their royal highnesses, but yet she wants them to be American through and through. She wants them to be American through and through, but she wants them to be better than all Americans. And I don't know how many times and I'm sure they've been told this, but we don't do royalty here. These poor children are going to have such an identity, an identity crisis. They're already going to be so confused. I really just feel sorry for them. But Megan is an arse. And then we have Prick Harry and Meghan Markle want to create an alternative monarchy in the U.S. Now, what is that going to look like? And a monarchy in the U.S. is like an oxymoron. And the only morons that really that are around are Harry and Meghan. They're absolutely disgusting. They, they think they're better than everybody else. You're not. You're not. From Olga on Twitter and Marie Claire in the U.K., Meghan Markle didn't want children to follow silly royal rules but she wants to have them to have all of the perks now doesn't she and by silly she, what she means is traditional rules she wants that she does not like the pecking order as we all know and still for whatever reason thinks it can be changed and thinks that you know pr statements and news articles are a way to be better than the the whales children unbelievable not really <laughs> From British Royal, Harry and Meghan nowhere to be seen at the Oscars. Nope, not invited again. I don't remember if they had the Oscars back in 2020 when COVID was out, but they weren't invited in 2021 or 2022. And again, not this year. Not ever, Markle Markle 2.0. Not every high profile event may relish the possible controversy. People don't want it. And this is from the Ex Express. People don't want them. And they also, you know, all of these places want to be able, you know, if they side with Harry and Meghan or have their complete shite show come, that might close the door for 
anybody else from the royal family, Catherine or William specifically, to come to these events. Not that I think that they would anyway, but they would rather them than these two clowns. Sussex's red carpet invites could be drying up because pair deemed too risky, says PR expert. Drying up? They never were. They've never been invited. Even at the best of times, Harry and Meghan have never been invited to anything. Ever. Except for this poor United States veteran event, but we've all gone over that. From the Scottish Daily Express, Prick Harry and Meghan Markle's Met Gala appearance in doubt as couple too hot to handle. They were never going, but they're just too controversial. Prick Harry and Meghan Markle have been branded too hot to handle with their rift with the royal family because the royal family is where it's at and Harry and Meghan are not where it is are not where it's at. The royal family potentially set to cost them their invite to this year's gala. Well, why weren't they invited to the galas all the prior years? Because they weren't wanted. One of the biggest PR boosting events in the U.S. The couple are reportedly in line to be snubbed from attending this year's glamorous fashion extravaganza. Well, Megan is a fashion icon, right? Why wouldn't they want her there? Hmm. Which is due to take place five days before King Charles' coronation on May 6th as their popularity nosedives stateside. I'm not sure it can go much lower, but it probably can. That is one thing that Harry and Meghan are able to accomplish and are good at is tanking their own approval ratings. From the Express, Prick, Prick Harry and Meghan set to miss out on Met Gala, invite, major snub for the Sussexes. Anna Wintour does not want them there. And from what I understand, Anna Wintour is a major royalist. And she, I would love to know what Anna Wintour really thinks of Harry and Meghan and Meghan's outfits. Exclusive, Harry and Meghan Markle's royal rift might cost them their place at this year's Met Gala. I just read this to you, a, CR, a celebrity PR told ex, Express. And Megan Small points out, no Met Gala, no Oscars, no Grammys, no SAG Awards, no Academy Awards. And then there never has been. Safe to say, nobody wants to be associated with a dastardly duo. But she did get a rigged People's Choice Award. Way to go for getting, way to go, Megan Small, for getting that one in there. From Sammy Markle on Instagram, the center view, the walls are closing in on Meghan Markle. She was not wanted at Oprah's birthday, not wanted at Elton John's Oscar parties. You know, just because you're invite, not invited to the Oscars, folks, doesn't mean that you can't be invited to Oscars parties. They were invited to no parties and not wanted at King Charles' coronation. A selfish, lonely bully with no friends, no family, and nowhere left to turn. And then I just posted this. Beyonce also had a glamorous Oscar party that Harry and Meghan were not invited to. But yet we're supposed, you know, we're everybody, the Sussex squad and some of the Sussex simps in the media want us to think that these two are so well liked. Well, there's no evidence of that. Zero evidence. And now I thought this was hilarious. And, and and I'm not sure if this, not nothing against I source news, but let's just for the sake of argument, say this is true. Breaking Harry agrees to, to Joe Rogan interview. Sources tell ISN the prince is set to appear without Megan. It's just going to be him and Joe Rogan for hours, probably said the source on condition of anonymity. Harry ditches Megan. So she's, Definitely not on board with this, of course. A source close to the situation has told ISN. The whole idea of Harry and Joe Rog Rogan is repugnant to her. But I'm going to make um, a prediction. If Harry does go on Joe Rogan, I bet you he's going to smoke pot just like e Elon Musk did on this show. I could just see it. I could just see it. And that will totally wreck him even more. Elon Musk, actually, I believe Elon Musk caught a lot of shite for that, but, um, you know, Harry's not bright, so I could see him doing this. 
In the comments section, let me know if you think he's going to go on Joe Rogan. Then we have Mega Narcissus One, the wig, just like the Tig, but much, much worse. Megan, the blogger of Sussex, and then and then Megan and Megan in hazmat. This is a hilarious meme. You know she has all these wi all these wigs to cover up cover up her horns, folks. But yeah, Megan, the blogger of Sussex. From the cut, is blogger Meghan Markle reviving the TIG? Now, this just goes to show how completely stupid Meghan Markle is. She could have been part of the royal family, you know, a, a valued member of the royal family, a duchess, etc. Have two beautiful children, maybe, you know, maybe. Um, prince and princess and everything, and she wants to be a blogger and is now known as a blogger. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I'm, she, she's no different than any of the YouTubers or, you know, we're just vloggers. So Megan is now on our level, right? The blogger. And then OK Magazine reports Megan is preparing to go head to head with Gwyneth Paltrow's wildly successful site, Goop, which is worth $200 million. So right there, she is setting herself up for failure. Meghan Markle to relaunch lifestyle blog and rival Gwyneth Paltrow's goop. She's never going to be as successful as Gwyneth Paltrow. First of all, I don't know how Gwyneth Paltrow is successful in the first place, but that's for another time for another story. But if this is, this is the benchmark that she's trying to hit, it will fail. Well, everything fails. From Markle Markle to 2.0, the blog would offer tips on food, travel, fashion, you know, Kermit goes to church is her best outfit. Don't forget that, folks. The arts. Now, what does she know about the arts? Design. What does she know about architecture and design? Nothing. Conscious living and wellness. Oh, yes. She is just the the example of how you want to live your life with your family and in harmony, etc., etc. From Duchess of Suck, Sucks It on Instagram, showing a Perez Hilton report, Meghan Markle bringing her blog, The Tig Report. Now, they did a poll. Will you be reading? Yes, 22%. Pass, 78%. So practically 80% are not interested in her blog, yet she's going to be competing with Gwyneth Paltrow at $200 million a year. Right. No one's interested in in your advice from the telegraph again megan wants to be a lifestyle guru the problem is no one wants her advice queen camilla on twitter the guru of happy families can't wait to read her advice on bringing families together and megan has done such a great job in picking a husband and he's just managing so well isn't he folks from yahoo news Bald Harry and Meghan Markle will be minor figures. Well, minor fig figures is uh, being quite um, generous, wouldn't you think? They're they're useless figures with no control if they attend the coronation. Historian says, well, they don't have control at the moment. L let me just read this. Harry and Meghan will have no control over how this event plays out. The royal household will have complete control over this event, Dr. Ed Owens told Express. The rehearsal schedule will be extremely intense. Everything will be organized down to the second in terms of how the event is meant to unfold in terms of in terms of the royal role of different performers. If Harry and Meghan are present that day, they are going to be minor figures at the fringe of this event. They will be the fringe of this event, but they don't have control over the event, but she can assert control during the event. She can faint. She can do whatever. I mean, she there will be an assertion of control at this event. Now, whether it's covered or not, it'll be covered after, but if the cameras are on, they'll, they're, she's going to do something. Also, in the comments section, let me know of all of the different things that you think that she might pull during this event. She might you know, I'm not really sure what she's going to wear. If she, I think she has to wear a tiara, maybe. But, you know, she can wear... Who knows? I, I, I don't know. You guys are more familiar with these royal events than I am. Let me know what she can do. But, yeah, there's always fainting. There's always 
whatever. But a control will be asserted. And this is just a reminder to the sugars. I saw this on Twitter. Meghan Markle identified herself as Caucasian supermodel. Fans were intrigued by an image of Meghan Markle's online profile. Remember, sugars, that's what she chose. She didn't choose to be like some of you. From Dr. Charlotte Proudman, and this is word salad like you wouldn't believe. The obsession with Meghan Markle is designed to discredit her. No, Meghan is designed to discredit herself because she's a narcissist. When a woman of color, oh, the Caucasian woman of color, disrupts an elitist white institution and calls out misogynoir in the media, she is a threat to existing power struggles. She's only a threat to herself. Everybody's on to her shtick. By turning on the accuser, they deflect attention from themselves. So she's accusing people, but she never has any proof of anything. Now, keep in mind this elitist white institution that this Caucasian woman of color is disrupting also wants to ride in the golden carriage from Meghan's mole. Meghan Markle is demanding to ride in a golden carriage if she attends to the coronation. Now, that would be hilarious. The woman who claimed the British royal family is racist wants to ride in a golden carriage. It doesn't quite get much more elite, elitist than that. And silly rules. But she wants her children to be as American through and through the mixed messaging the the wanting it all she wants it all and sooner or later she's not going to have anything she's not but her kids do have the title so she can merge those what was i thinking but yeah she wants to ride in a golden carriage folks of course from julieth remember on twitter remember that time the u.s media used to report on every royal engagement event on their morning shows and invited royal reporters to discuss it just because Megan was there. Megan brought an interest in that family again, and she took it back with the moment she left, really, because the approval ratings seem to tell a different story, Julia. You know, they, they credit a 1,200-year institution, uh, any success that they have and their longevity and their people's interest in them with this idiot the one whose approval ratings are in the sewer system and the royal family's approval ratings are just so high we know all of this folks this is for the sugars and that's all i have for you today like i said you know there's not there's not much going on other than the same old same old will they or won't they go to the coronation all of well if there was an olive branch story i would have told you about it because i just get a kick out of those but you know it, it, it's it's just going to go be back and forth up into the coronation um let me know what you think the what stunt these two could possibly pull at the coronation they could pull us if they're not on on the balcony they could be seen somewhere else and doing some something else now whether or not the cameras uh decide to film that is another story looking forward to hearing from you